Hey everybody, Mark here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own 1000mm equivalent lens on a micro four thirds camera body. So as you may know, we use the Panasonic GH4. This is um, one of our first 4K cameras and we use it a lot for a lot of our movies and videos on my tech channel. Now the camera that you're looking at right now is not micro four thirds luckily because this has a huge crop factor but it does play some advantages first it gets you really nice zoom so this lens right here is 14 to 42 millimeters yet it's an equivalent of 28 to 84 millimeters because it has a two times crop factor now another thing about that is that we can use lens like these canon ones right here and get extremely crazy telephoto. So, how are we gonna use a Canon lens on a micro four thirds body? Well, the answer lies in this adapter. It costs $12 on Amazon, and this little thing takes your Canon lens and sticks onto your micro four thirds body. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a lens. So I promised you a 1000 plus millimeter lens. So for this we'll be taking this Canon 75 to 300 millimeter ultrasonic lens. It gets quite big. It's manual focus. Now the problem with this is it is not, doesn't have an unclicked aperture which means that we will need to grab ourselves a Canon camera in order to adjust our aperture. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've opened it up all the way. Luckily this one has a aperture of f4 to 5.6. So it's not going to change. It's only going to change by 1.6 when we zoom in all the way. So it's not a huge um, issue with this lens, but um, let's just go ahead and take this lens, pop the cap off, and we are going to go ahead and take this ring. So there's different ones you can get. You can get a speed booster, but um, that will give you an extra stop of aperture and it will reduce the crop factor. And since this has a two times crop factor and this adapter itself gives us a three times crop factor, we're gonna be nearly 1,200 millimeters, which is really crazy from a 300 millimeter lens. Now you can go ahead and buy a lens for yourself, but this one's really cheap. So it's actually overall cheaper. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this ring, pop it on right there, go ahead and tighten it down until it clicks. And then there you go. We now have a micro four thirds lens. And thanks to this adapter, we will be able to pop on our extremely big lens. And we can go ahead and test it out. So, um, with the GH4, it is smart enough to know that there is no real lens on there. So we're going to need to go into our menu system and enable the option to shoot without a lens or else it won't even work. But once we go ahead and do that, we're going to want to make sure it's on manual focus. Since there is no interfacing with this and it's not actually a Panasonic built lens, you're not going to be able to get any autofocus system. So we're going to have to go full manual focus, but you get a ton of cool effects with it. So let's go ahead. <laughs> and um, try this out. So right now I am seeing that we have really really crazy zoom. So you guys can see how far away I am right now. I'm probably about a meter, meter and a half away. And if you look how close this is, I, right now I'm at 75 millimeters on the zoom. So let's see, if I take you guys all the way to 300, which is like about 1200, I can't even find the logo anymore. This is super. There we go. There's the JVC logo at the top of our camera right here. That is really crazy zoom. Um, it's probably a little bit overkill, especially for YouTube. But if you were wanting to get some um, nice shots of the scenery from a long distance away. This is a really good option. Um, GH4 doesn't have in-body stabilization 
and neither does this lens. So it's really going to be shaky. If you get the GH5 that has in-body stabilization, and you're probably going to want to use definitely a tripod, and if you're doing video, you're definitely going to need a gimbal as well. But yeah, we got ourselves a customized Canon lens, because Canon has great lenses. We got a Canon lens on a GH4, thanks to its crop factors and the simple plain old adaption ring, we get almost 1,200 millimeters of focal length. It's really crazy, and it's actually quite simple and easy to use, and it may even be cheaper than buying yourself a 1,200 millimeter lens built for the GH4. But there you have it. If you guys like this video, feel free to leave it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more filmmaking content as well as our own short films. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. This is Mark, and I will see you in the next one.